Hello and welcome back. We started with the z sound. I hope all of you are back after sipping some tea or sipping some coffee. Yes, I hope none of you have fallen asleep and everyone is awake. Yes. Good. We did the zer sound. We practiced the zer sound words. We come to the next sound, which is the sound of j. J. Okay. J. How are we saying j? J. It's one of the sounds that is the same in all or nearly all languages. The j. Why are we doing the sound then if it is the same in all languages? Because we need to see if it's being produced correctly at the right place. Most of the time, you'll have the j sound be confused with the z sound. So please remember j and z two different sounds and where the j is to be said and where the z is to be said. That's the main purpose of producing and practicing this sound. Because you'll have some people calling it instead of a J A M jam calling it a zam yes and j has to be clearly heard in every sound like we've sound, like we've done for every sound j and z is the confusion please make sure generally what i do is also get another chart made there will be a lot of charts in every class with our sounds but i generally kind of get one chart made get the other one off get another one on that way what happens is it's not only written on the board or in on a chart in class also they have to remember it has to be in their head because otherwise the chart will be taken off not that they can always refer to it when it's on the board okay so j sound make sure you get them to know where it is j and where it is z so j jump jam jam of course the traffic jam and the jam that you eat with fruit jam gentleman okay please remember t clearly softly heard gentleman not gentleman but gentleman men at the end gentleman gentleman and not gentleman but gentleman germany the country in europe germany jittery jittery the t clearly heard in the middle t jittery what is jittery jittery is someone who is nervous is he or she is jittery he had or she had the jitters when someone gets nervous you jitter yes jittery dodge dodge means when you don't when you get out of the way and don't let the person come into the way of something dodge he was dodging the dog he was dodging the bullet yes j e o p a r d y jeopardy and not jeopardy but jep jep a -er d jeopardy jeopardy and fudge f u d g e fudge fudge is nothing else but a sweet dessert fudge made of lots of sugar fudge also when somebody does something which is unclear or not good then he or she fudged he fudged the marks yes he fudged the books when you do some wrong accounting j fudged jump jam gentleman germany jittery dodge jeopardy fudge j now match the following columns we have the names of places and you need to match them with the thing with the sentences again an, another interesting way to get everyone to produce the j sound we have jordan the country jordan jakarta jakarta remember we had said a at the end of a word not jakarta but jakarta jakarta where is that in, in okay we'll know that soon japan please remember not japan 
Japan, Japan, and the pearl in the middle heard Japan, Johannesburg, Johannesburg, Hannes, Johannesburg, yes, a place in South Africa, Johannesburg, and we have Germany. Germany, J sound, Germany, okay? So, a technologically advanced country in Asia, clearly. The European nation, the European nation responsible for starting World War II or the Second World War. The business capital of South Africa. The Middle East country ruled by King Hussein's son and the capital of Indonesia. Yes, a technologically advanced country in Asia, of course. We get all the technologically most advanced things from Japan. Japan. The European nation responsible for starting World War II is, of course, Germany. Please remember, it's a J sound, Germany, not Germany. It is J, J, Germany. Okay. The business capital of South Africa is Johannesburg. And not Johannesburg. It is J, Johannesburg. Then the Middle East country ruled by King Hussein, the son, is Jordan. He was King Hussein of Jordan. Okay, Jordan, a Middle East country ruled by King Hussein's son is Jordan. And the capital of Indonesia is Jakarta. Jakarta. J Jordan, Jakarta, Japan, Johannesburg, Germany. It's also sometimes when I ask students to get me other place and cities names with J in it and also tell me something about it. This way what happens is one they get something interesting to know about the country they look at it on the map and if you have the map hanging in the class I always tell them go to the map and show me that. This way we are doing many more things we are involving the students to find out and train their brain to look for new places to know where it is on the map to pronounce it correctly with the correct sounds. Okay, so for us as English teachers, of course, that's in reverse order. We need them to produce the correct sound and pronounce it correctly. And then, of course, the rest has to follow to know where it is and, and on the map and to know something about the place. Good. Sentences with the J sound. J. The jade jam jar jumped jovially. J, J, J all the time. The jade jam jar jumped jovially. The jade jam jar jumped jovially. Yes, ingeniously the janitor wedged a ledger in the dangerous leak. <coughs> Excuse me. Ingeniously, the first word, ingeniously, the janitor wedged a ledger in the dangerous leak. RG's jumping jovially round Jakarta. Why do we have an apostrophe in front of round? Because it's around and the er has been left out. RG's is jumping jovially round Jakarta. Chubby jugglers juggling oranges jovially. Of course, these are just sentences with the j sound to uh, practice one after the other, the j. The jade jam jar jumped jovially. Ingeniously, the janitor wedged a ledger in the dangerous leak. Arjee's jumping jovially round Jakarta and chubby jugglers juggling oranges jovially. Yes? Good. Now, the next one is pick the correct adjective. Adjective is j again. Adjective. The new dog cuddle is very energetic or evil. He is also very intense or intelligent. Every time I come back from school, he starts jumping or adjusting with joy. 
One day he jumped so high that he injured or ignored himself. I rushed him to the emergency or urgency. Please remember, not emergency, but emergency. Not emergency, uh, not emergency, but emergency. Emerge. Yes, emergency, urgency. Ward in the hospital. The doctor checked him up and told me that he had derailed or damaged his hind legs and, say, and so may end up limping for a long time. It, no, I took it as a channel or challenge and took good care of my dog. His injury or forgery healed in no time and this time I was jumping with joy. Yes, the correct adjective. So, our new dog Cuddle is very energetic, lots of energy. Yes, he is very intense or intelligent. Intelligent. Please remember, this is also a word that most people sometimes get incorrect. Intelligent. It's not the Z, it is the J. Intelligent. Intelligent. Yes, intelligent. Yes, please give them the J sound and tell them to transfer it onto this because the J is a sound that is the same in all languages. J. The only thing that we need to do as teachers is to make sure that the J is produced correctly and not inversed with the Z sound. Okay, intelligent. Every time I come back from school, he starts j jumping. J. Just say jao, ja. That is the j jumping. Absolutely jumping. Okay, it's the j sound. Tell them you can produce it in your own language and say like I just did. Ja, j jumping. Okay. The next word we should just practice the word. It's not adjusting z. It is adjusting j. He just went there. Not he just went there. J. Adjust. Okay. Adjusting. Yes. Jumping. So every time I come back from school, he starts jumping with joy. Yes. One day he jumped J so high that he injured. Absolutely. He injured himself. I rushed him to the urgency or the emergency? In the emergency. Excellent. That's a word we need to practice a lot. Emergency. Let me hear you say it once more. Emergency. Yes, it's not emergency. It's emergency. Like the word emerge to come out of something. That's the, that's the word. Emergency. Yes, emergency. So, the doctor checked him up and told me no, I'm sorry, one sentence before that. I rushed him to the emergency ward, W-A-R-D, ward, in the hospital. The doctor checked him up and told me that he had damaged. Okay, again, we have many people with calling it damaged. It was damaged. It's not a z, it's the same j as ja. Jana, damaged, that's the j. So, damaged, okay, that he had damaged his hind legs, yes, his back legs, hind is the back, yes, the, the back legs are also called hind legs, <clears throat> and so may end up limping for a long time. I took it as a, as a channel or a challenge, perfect, challenge, I took it as a challenge and took good care of my dog. I'm sure some of you or most of you have a dog at home or like dogs. Yes, his injury and not forgery, his injury, yes, his injury healed in no time. Please remember long E sound healed, okay, healed in no time, time I sound. And this time I was jumping with joy. Jumping with joy is again an expression to 
exclaim to show a lot of happiness. I was jumping with joy as soon as I got my result. To jump with joy. You don't literally jump with joy or maybe you do, but it's just an expression to say a lot of happiness. Yes, jumping with joy. So we had, of course, J sound is what we are doing. We come to this next sound, which is a very, very, very critical, very important. I cannot stress it enough how important this sound is for us in Punjab because this is one sound we get wrong, incorrect or missing totally, I think, 90% of the time. And this is the sound of J. This is the sound of J. Now, you've seen how I've made this list. Yes? The S and the Z together. Because a S vibrated gives us Z. Yes? The SH vibrated will give us the Z. Okay? That's how we're doing this. In pairs. So that it's easier for us to connect to the sound and come to the sound. Now, how did we do the zh? Like I said, hum, all of us together, we should and start saying shh also at the same time. How will that happen? Try it. And now, after you've done hmm, try and say shh. That's the sound. It's only the sound of sh vibrated that gives us the z. Now this is a sound that's not present in our language and so it's a little I will not ever say difficult to produce a sound because no, nothing is difficult. It's just a little bit of practice, a little bit of effort that you require and a little bit of ear to listen to the sound. Please remember try it. Don't feel shy. Don't feel shy in saying Mm, or shh, and then together to say mm, shh, shh, that's how you have to do it. This is a sound that we will in Punjab need to practice, 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 practice a lot. Luckily enough for us, it's one of the sounds that has no word beginning with z. Is there any word in your in that you can think of that begins with j in English? I'm talking only about English. If you do find a word that begins with English, please email us, write to me, give me a call, send me an SMS. That would be very interesting for me to know a word that begins with j. And we have the j in the middle, most of the time in the middle, and at the end we don't have j as well. So j, the sound of j, we only have in the middle. One luckiness. Yes, something that's really lucky. We have the j only in the middle. Just a few words in English, but they are still there and well, quite a few words that we use very often. Yes, j. How did we say we are producing it? We are saying buzzing mm, and sh together to say mm, sh That's the sound. J. J. If you are coming close to the sound, you should be able to hear the sh. The only thing is, look at the distance between this and this. The j and the z is very far. It is not even close to this sound. It's the closest and only next to the sh and the j. Sh, j. And as you can see, there is no other sound in this group. So there is no y here, as you'll see soon what the sound is. Like the first word we have, m e a. S U R E. When you take something and you measure and not measure and not measure, not measure, nothing else. It's a measure. 
measure. I will keep saying come close to this sound the sh and you'll automatically start vibrating it to zh. Don't come close to sir or z because that's not the target sound. It's certainly not a y. So measure. Okay? Measure. Close to it and say measure. 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 Because this is what we can still say. Measure. Yes? And slowly you will start vibrating it to get to z. Please remember we need to correct the sound. We will take some time with this sound. We'll go very slow because this is an important sound to get correct. Measure. Not a mez, but a measure. It's a sh, it's not a z. Yes, it is not a z. It is not the same sound as zip, zoom. No, it is more like shimmer, shout, ship. So measure, perfect, measure, television, yes, television, most of the time we'll have some people calling it television, z, z is incorrect, this is the sound, television, luckily enough the z sound has very few words in it, so another chart comes up in your class with the z sound on it. Make sure these are a few words. This chart should stay there all the time with the zh sound on top and you keep writing the words of zh so that you always look at it and say, no, 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 that's the target sound. Those are the words with the zh. Get them correctly. Especially for us as teachers, we need to produce the correct sound all the time. So please remember zh, measure, measure. Television, vision, vision. Perfect. Television. Garage, 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 where you park your car. Yeah? Where you park your car is a garage. J, garage. This word we very often have wrong. U S U A L. How do we say it? Perfect. Usual. Usual. Let me hear you say it. Usual. Not user. It's not a user. It's not usual. It's usual. It's a were in the middle as well. So it is like U U L Usual. Yes? Usual. Let's say it once more. Usual. It's please remember we are only shifting from here to here. In the beginning to practice a sound, we are not coming to Z. It is not usual. No, that's incorrect. You can still say usual. Sh. I will still take it in the beginning to and accept it just the time we are practicing to get to the target sound. But Z will be absolutely incorrect. It is not usual. It is us. Like the sh. Usual. Usual. And please try and practice and say the word, only then will you get to the target sound. Okay? Because we as teachers need to have this sound 100% of the time always correct. Because we as teachers need to have it 100% correct always, only then can we teach and train our students. If you, any of your teachers, don't have these words with the correct sound, we have to correct ourselves now, from today, right now, because that's the target sound. It is not an option, it just has to be done because we have to produce the correct words with the correct sound. Usual. Usual. Please try and practice and correct yourself if you don't have the target sound. If you have the target sound, excellent. Practice always makes ones perfect. 
carry on practicing usual casual yes casual perfect casual try and get to sh and not to the it's not casual it's casual it's so say the sh and you'll get to this word casual yes casual casual nut like the nut that we have it's the same casual i'm taking a bit of time with the sound because this is one of the one of the tricky sounds as i call them they're the tricky sounds that we have in english mercifully thankfully thank god we have just a few words with this sound casual usual and one word that the sound generally gets everyone confusion yes confusion say it once more confusion yes please remember not confusion it is confusion you can come close to it and say confusion but that's the target sound we have confusion confusion hopefully we don't have any can fusion yes f u s i o n fusion v i s i o n vision vision pleasure is something that i have in training and you have in teaching hopefully pleasure pleasure version version occasion what is the occasion come i w- i have brought some cake what is the occasion yes decision very important word decision decision yes perfect take time with the word get to know this sound decision perfect excellent decision yes it's not decision decision no decision decision yes remember every time you need to say it it's with nearly the sh sound and that's where we stop it's decision 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 sometimes i always jump a little when i'm saying the words because then it's easier to get the stress and the place right decision decision but of course we're talking about the sound j decision illusion what's an illusion when you can't see something correctly it's an illusion something that's not there illusion what a magician does illusion yes very few words with this sound but as you can see we have words that are used very often like decision casual usual occasion confusion vision television pleasure measure leisure yes please remember the sound practice these words a lot every day because we as teachers have to have these correct sounds in place always okay once more measure please repeat after me measure television perfect garage garage usual year in the beginning year like you and me the same you usual perfect casual casual cash casual perfect casual confusion perfect confusion yes vision good vision pleasure perfect pleasure then we have version version then we have occasion occasion yes 
we have decision 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 this is a bit of a tricky word because we have a sir and the je together decision perfect this and we have illusion perfect illusion let's look at the next exercise where we are only going to be practicing the je sound je je measure okay we have the words garage intrusion confusion revision casual 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 yes as i said take your time with the word go slow where the sound comes like cash cash what happens then is your brain starts accepting the sound where it has to be and it automatically goes there cash cash casual take time with the word get to know the word yes casual television television and usual usual absolutely usual what are we doing here it's just that you see we have been saying these words in a particular way for many years so right now we are trying to tell our brain no what you have been saying in a particular way was incorrect the correct way is this human tendency is we'll go try the word and come back and try the word and come back to our original and that's something we can't that's something that we can't let happen yes so carry on practicing over and over again how to say je measure so the words were garage intrusion confusion revision casual television usual and the sentences are you can't decide which dress to wear you have an exam the next day you want to watch your favorite soap you do it all the time you park your car safely your friend is very nosy and a poor attitude a poor attitude so the first sentence you can't decide what to wear is confusion confusion you're confused about what to wear you can't decide when you can't decide you are confused confusion confusion we have to get the sound correct very very important confusion the next sentence is you have an exam the next day so what you will you be doing revision revision please get the ver there in the middle also correctly said revision third sentence is you want to watch your favorite soap we're talking about the soap opera not like the bar of soap that you take wash your hands with or take a bath with your soap yes the soap opera what we get a serial what we call a serial on tv you want to watch your favorite soap television absolutely on tv television you do it all the time something that you do all the time is usual usual is something that you do all the time is usual usually i have class at this time usually i am home by 12 usually i like to eat something yes usual you park your car safely like we said earlier the first word garage j at the end garage your friend is very nosy is intrusion now nosy a friend nosy means not that he or she has a cold means that he or she likes to look into your matters it tries and uh, sometimes asks too many questions yes that's a person who is nosy 
comes from the term that he sticks his or her nose into everyone's business. He or she is very nosy. Yes? Okay. Your friend is very nosy. Is intrusion. Intrusion means something that comes in. And ha- here we mean intrusion because he or she is coming into your matters, into your things and wants your information. And a poor attitude. A poor attitude is casual. Is a casual attitude. Is a poor attitude. Why? Because you're taking everything casually. You're not giving it the effort that is required. So, we have the words here, measure, vision, television, pleasure, garage, version, usual, take time with this word, usual, casual, occasion, confusion, I hope there is none, there is no confusion. Decision, illusion, and the words we've done here, garage, intrusion, confusion, revision, casual, television, and usual. Target sound, z. We also have a few more exercises to do with z because this is something that we need to practice a lot. So, so we have the je sentences with the je sound. It's a pleasure to meet a man with a vision. Please repeat after me after you've said it, after you've heard it. It's a pleasure to meet a man with a vision. Please remember if you're saying vision, if you're saying vision, it's incorrect. Please correct yourself now and practice the target sound and get it clearly. It's not vision, it is not vision, it is vision. Vision. Closer to the sh sound, vision. Okay? Pleasure. If you're saying calling it player, if you're saying pleasure, it is incorrect. It has to be pleasure. Pleasure. Yes, next sentence is Malaysia and Indonesia lie in Asia. I'm sure you've seen the advertisement on television for Malaysia where they say Malaysia truly Asia. That was their slogan. Yes, Malaysia truly Asia. And you could hear the clear Z sound in that. Malaysia and Indonesia lie in Asia. Not Asia and especially not the, sh- the R at the end. It's not Asia but Asia. Asia. So, Malaysia and Indonesia lie in Asia. Holidays are a time for leisure. Holidays are a time for leisure and pleasure. Not layer and player or leisure and pleasure. Those are, <coughs> sorry, those are incorrect. It has to be leisure and pleasure. Clear j sound there. Leisure, pleasure. That is the only way to say it. So, holidays are a time for leisure and pleasure, but in a measured dose. Holidays are a time for leisure and pleasure, but in a measured dose. His brother worked in the telecom division. His brother worked in the telecom division of a big company. Yes, division. Vision. Division. Not division. Not division. Division. It's nearly the sh vibrated to give us 
ج then a wedding ceremony is a happy occasion a wedding ceremony is a happy occasion okay so we had pleasure and vision in the first sentence we had malaysia indonesia and asia in the second sentence we have leisure pleasure measured in the third sentence leisure pleasure measured yes in the fourth sentence we have division and in the fifth sentence we have occasion important words words we use very often please know how to produce the j sound correctly and have the correct sound at the correct place okay let's use let's do the next activity the activity is to fill in the blanks using the correct option we have leisure and ledger i'm use i'm reading the words on the in the right column yes leisure and ledger measure and major pleasure and pager pleasure and pager rage and raise of course without the z sound here craze and gauge beige b e i g e beige what is beige beige is a color it's kind of like a cream like an off white beige beige base and zone and joan so let's try and do the sentences you maintain you maintain your accounts in a ledger that's a ledger not a ledger but a ledger you measure measure second sentence you measure the temperature yes you measure j j j measure the temperature you go out for pleasure you go out for pleasure he turned red with rage anger with a lot of anger he got so angry he was red yes he turned red with rage that's a j sound the lion escaped from his cage again the j sound she bought a pair of beige trousers b e i g e beige trousers he was playing football for the north of course zone yes we have j that we've done here leisure ledger measure so the j sound we had earlier that we've done right now leisure measure pleasure beige yes let's look at the sounds once more these are the the sounds that we have very often only in a few words as we said not in the initial and not in the final only in the middle we have j sound words we have them here measure vision television pleasure please repeat after me the words that i'm saying get the right correct sound pleasure garage version usual let's say it once more usual casual j remember how we're saying this word it's nearly the sh vibrated gives us the j casual usual yes casual confusion decision illusion we had garage 
intrusion a very important sound that's why we're doing it again it's very important for us to get it right yes intrusion confusion not confusion confusion it is only and only confusion revision casual television usual yes we had these sentences we where we said pleasure and vision malaysia indonesia asia malaysia indonesia 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 Asia, Asia. We have leisure, pleasure, measured. Yes, we have the next one, division. Yes, and occasion. We have, of course, in the last activity, the same words again. There are very few words with this sound, but these are important words. Measure, leisure, pleasure, beige. So, leisure, measure, pleasure, treasure, leisure. Yes, very important for us to get these words. What I would like you to do is make a list of all the words that have According to you, the j sound, measure. And after today, none of us, no teacher that who is following the session here, should be saying anything else than these, than the target sound. Yes, j, leisure, pleasure, measure. Yes, leisure, measure, pleasure, beige. Malaysia, vision, yes, vision, measured, division, words here, measure, vision, television, pleasure, garage, version, usual, occasion, confusion, decision, illusion. We have to practice the sound a lot because we have to get it absolutely correct all the time. How did we say it? We said it's nothing else but the shh. It's the same as shh. Vibrated gives us zh. It's not close to the z at all. It is certainly not the s. These two are the ones sh and j. Very closely linked. Sh j sounds yes measure leisure vision treasure pleasure yes j it is not any other sound than the j sound so we go further and we will go on to the th and the th sound th and th these are again sounds that i would say give you refinement of the existing sounds that we have it's um, unlike the j sound that we've just done like in measure leisure pleasure unlike the j sound these sounds are already there in english like the in your original language the and th and the but we need to practice and know where to produce the th and where to produce the the how are these two sounds being produced? Let's look. It says the th and the sounds are dental sounds. Means it has something to do with the teeth. In the articulation of these sounds, the tip of the tongue and the upper front teeth are the two articulators. Both are fricatives. How does this happen? The words with the th unvoiced. Unvoiced we said means what? It is not vibrated. Yes? How are we saying? It's nothing else but the tongue 
flat coming between the teeth. Th. 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 Air is flowing from up and below the tongue out to say th. Th. The tongue comes out clearly to say th. Th. Like th. Thermometer. Th. Thermometer. Through. Through. Now, if one of us or some of us are saying through with a stronger th, through, it is not, it is incorrect. But for us as teachers, we will see what the level of the student is or what the level of us is. For us as teachers, we'll have to always say through, through, so that they know how to produce it. But if a student who's maybe struggling too hard with another sound like j, which is very important to get right, we will not really correct the person with th and th. We'll say, okay, at least the person can say through, through, nearly there. It's okay. We will not correct him now, but of course, maybe later, at a later stage, when he has all the other pronunciation and sounds correct, we will do this. But for us as teachers, of course, we will need to have this sound absolutely in place. Through, thought, I thought you were going to come yesterday. Thought, thank, I thank you. Yes, I thank you. Ether, ether, panther, panther, panther. We all know what panther is or who a panther is. Panther. Breath or breathe. Th. Breath. Beneath. Okay? Beneath. Mouth. Mouth. Path. Path. Now, the only thing I'm trying to do here is, it's not path. It's path. Like I said, softer sounds. Path. Cloth. Thumb, wreath, wreath is like the, the round flower wreath that one lays, wreath, sheath, north, we, the state of Punjab is in North India, north, thigh, T-H-I-G-H, thigh, it's the th, as I said, unvoiced, it's just the tongue between the two C's, air flowing out from above and below the tongue to say th, th, through. Okay? Through. Now, let's see how, what the activity, the next activity is. Match the columns. We have north, sheath, thigh, ether, panther, thermometer, throws. Those are the words, and we have a part of the body. Those are the sentences, a part of the body. A volatile, colorless liquid with a pleasant smell. An instrument to measure body temperature. The member of a cat family. Then we have one of the earth's pole. A part of furnishings and a kind of a covering. Yes, we have these are the sentences and the words that we have are north, sheath, thigh, ether, panther, thermometer and throws. Let's see what the answers are. A part of the body, of course we have that very clearly, a thigh. Yes, the thigh, part of the upper leg, thigh. A volatile, colorless liquid with a pleasant smell is ether, E-T-H-E-R, ether, an instrument to measure body temperature or any temperature, of course, is a thermometer. The member of a cat family, we have the panther. One of the Earth's pole is the North Pole, North. A part of furnishings, we have throws. What is a throw in furnishing? It's a type of a long cloth that you generally throw over your sofa at the back. Where the backrest is, the cloth that covers the back is a throw. 
It's called a throw, the piece of cloth that generally you can put on a sofa at the back is a throw and we have a kind of covering which is of course the only one left which is sheath, sheath. Yes, a part of the body no is thigh, volatile colorless liquid of the pleasant smell is ether, an instrument to measure body temperature thermometer, a member of the cat family panther, a member of the, uh, sorry, one of the earth's pole is north, a part of furnishings is throws and a kind of covering is sheath. That was the th sound. We have some sentences with the th sound. Think your thoughts through and through. Okay, if th, we're just, as I've said, in most of the sounds, we're just trying to soften it. How are we saying the sound? The tongue between the teeth, air from above and below, to say th. The, the tongue doesn't touch any of the teeth. The tongue is flat, and the entire tongue comes out to say th. Well, not the entire tongue, but just the front part to say th. Yes? Think your thoughts through and through. He threw three free throws. A little bit of a tongue twister. Yes, let's try it once more. He threw three free throws. Let's do it once more. He threw three free throws. Yes, interesting. Third sentence is... 33,333 33,333 I think there will be thunder and rain on Thursday I think there will be thunder and rain on Thursday It might just happen Yes In the thick of summers Kathy takes three baths a day Ruth and Thelma, Ruth and Thelma, two girls' names, Ruth and Thelma feel lethargic on Thursdays. And the last sentence is, I think Thelma thwarted the thought of throwing the theme. A bit of a tongue twister, a bit of practice for the tongue, th. Yes, let's take a break for two more minutes and drink some more water, get our throats energized again and we'll be back in just a few minutes so that we can then carry on with this exercise. I'll see you in two minutes.